And the Las Vegas Review Journal says a groundbreaking sports gambling case is on the verge of falling apart. The federal judge says evidence from a first of its kind FBI sting should be thrown out of court. Don Daler is here with the ruling in the undercover video showing the FBI in action. Don, good morning. Good morning for high stakes poker star Paul Foy and his son Darren. The judge's decision will likely mean a quicker resolution to their case. The two have been under GPS monitoring since being arrested over six months ago. Where's the router? Oh, I see it. Okay. During this FBI sting last July, federal agents in Las Vegas used controversial measures to investigate an alleged illegal gambling operation. So is the Wi-Fi down too? Is, is both hardline and Wi-Fi? They cut internet access to three villas at Caesars Palace. I'll take a look at the router. That's probably where the problem is. And then posed as repairmen to gain access to the suites in order to obtain evidence. It's, it's a crucial part of our lives. And for the police to cut off the Internet is the same thing as cutting off the water to the shower or cutting off the electricity to the heater. Professional poker player Paul Foy and his son Darren were among eight defendants charged for allegedly running a multi-million dollar gambling scheme that illegally accepted bets on this summer's World Cup matches. But it wasn't the warrantless FBI sting that a federal judge condemned. It was how the FBI deceptively used the sting to apply for a warranted search conducted just days later. In a 32-page decision, U.S. Magistrate Judge Peggy Lean called the search warrant fatally flawed, saying the application misled the magistrate judge into believing the warrantless searches were constitutional. She supported the defense's motion to suppress most evidence collected after the raid. It's an important uh, guarantee to have uh, a judge that's willing to tell uh, the government and the FBI that the Constitution is a real and living document and that you have to adhere to it. The U.S. Attorney's Office in Las Vegas is reviewing the magistrate's findings, Which but if they stand, the prosecution's case could unravel quickly. For the prosecutors, they're left scrambling because they have to convince the judge not to make this the final order, and if it is, somehow they have to find evidence that shows the criminal activity. This is just a recommendation by the magistrate. A district judge will make the final decision regarding the evidence. The Department of Justice has 14 days to decide whether it will file an objection to Judge Lean's recommendation. Charlie. Don, thanks.